Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, July 15th, 2010. This morning I wanted to go over saving code, and I'm not going to be covering store or version control today. I have a whole section of Small Talk Daily that covers that, so I'll provide a link in the show notes. I'd encourage you to go there if you want to learn how to use store. I'm going to provide some information on some basic ways of saving code. So, first way that I'm going to cover is you go here to the package, and this is the one I created over the last couple days. If you right click on this, you'll get an option here to publish. Publish as parcel. This is store, so I'll leave that alone. Publish as parcel is one option. This will save it out to the disk as a little .pcl file, and that is basically the entire package in a binary form that can be loaded quickly. So if I do that, it'll publish out. And if I were to go over and look at the file system and see what I've got, you'll see that I've got two files. .pcl is the binary, .psd is the source. So that's one way of saving it. That can be loaded in using the parcel tools. Another way of saving it that you would file back in is to do file out. So if I come down here, I get file out package, and I can also file out just the changes from the last time I worked in this image or the differences. Let's go with package though, and what it'll do is give me a dialog box, and I can say arith.st. Let's just do less typing. And if I come over here and do an ls minus l on arith star. You'll see now I've got arith.st.st. It tossed the extra, extra.st on there because I typed st. So I've got a little file out and that could be filed into the image. Finally, there's one additional way of saving code, and this is kind of a bigger way. If I come over here to the image, I can save the running state of this entire image by doing this file, save image, or save image as. If I do save image, it'll save it under the same name, or I can do save image as, and I can say, oh, let's say working dash ST daily, and we'll hit save, and you'll see this little writing icon pop up for a little bit. And now, if I come over here, ls minus l working star, you'll see a bunch of things here. Working ST daily dot IM, and the dot CHA is all of the changes that I've made, and notice it's going to be copied from the team dot CHA, the change file. I've also gone through another screencasts. And that will save the complete running state so I can come back to this and it'll be exactly as if I didn't leave. So those are three basic ways of saving code. Again, you probably want to be using version control. There are some very simple ways to get started with that, and I'll provide a note in the show links.